now can see the engine atmosphere in the Doppler. We are beginning to feel the atmosphere uh, as we go in here. The vehicle just reported via tones that it has started guided entry. At this time, the vehicle is beginning to steer its way to the target. It is starting its first bank reversal. First bank reversal complete. We have seen peak deceleration. We have passed through peak heating and peak deceleration. Uh, it is reporting that we are seeing G's on the order of uh, 11 to 12 Earth G's. Flight GDSA. GDSA flight go. We are processing data from Odyssey. We are now getting telemetry from Odyssey. All right. Bank reversal two complete. <laughs> Copy bank reversal two complete. Thanks. Okay. Standby flight. We have a connection, but we actually do not have any data yet. Copy. We can expect some intermittent contact at this time as the uh, signal gets increases go. to Universal respectable levels. There we go. We are now seeing and we have RCDPs. Okay, copy. To and visualization is updated. The adventure and heading alignment. There it goes. At this time, curiosity is no longer trying to control how far it's flying downrange and is just heading directly for the target. End of range control, air used, minus 1.2 kilometers. Minus 1.2. 1.2. The EL team is reporting that uh, we are, uh, that things look pretty good at the end of range control. We have controlled, we have converged uh, a lot of the error and we should be heading toward the target. Play EDL. TDS warning is okay. Copy. Power on. We are seeing a tone from the one uh, indicating that we uh, have seen uh, we have seen heating on the heat shield uh, through the bevy instrument. Uh, everything looks fine. This is as expected. During the setting alignment phase, we're flying almost horizontally like a plane. We're going about Mach 2.4 at an altitude of 17 kilometers or so. <laughs> Sequels reporting heartbeat tones again, uh, indicating that everything is fine during heading alignment. Uh, we are standing by for straighten up and fly right and parachute deploy. Vehicles continue to decelerate. We're down to about Mach 2. As a reminder, we should have parachute deploy around Mach 1.7. We're at 15 kilometers altitude. We've begun entry balance mass jettison. The predicted mission downrange is 1.597 kilometers. EDL Ops, Odyssey Systems on EDL Ops. Parachute deploy. Parachute. <laughs> Thrusters have been re-enabled. Uh, we will control our attitude on shoot. We are decelerating. Oh. Risk mode under our parachute. Our parachute accelerated and, and descending. We are at 150 per meters per second. Dynamics phase. Come back again with uh, risk mode dynamics. Risk mode is nominal. We are nine kilometers and descending. Active. Valid range. That filter converged with a velocity correction of 0.7 meters a second. We've acquired the ground with the radar. An altitude of 8 kilometers. Feet shield has separated. separated. We've found the ground. Expand tones due to earth occultation as expected. We're, We're standing by to prime the Emily engines in preparation for powered flight. We're down to 90 meters per second at an altitude of 6.5 kilometers and descending. Flight EDL, we've got some Tweeta warnings. 
It is Please in battle short is. mode, so it should power through them. Director Earth Communications at this time. We may have lost it already. We're down to 86 meters per second at an altitude of 4 kilometers in descending. We have lost, act we've lost tones from Earth at this time. This is expected. Uh, we are continuing on Odyssey telemetry. Ground solution equals minus 10.8 meters, vertical velocity of minus 82.8 meters per second. Start enabled, standing by for batch separation. Signal Odyssey is still strong. We are in powered flight. Yes. We're at altitude of one kilometer descending. About 70 meters per second. Signal to us. Control the air. Down to 50 meters per second. 500 meters in altitude. Yes. Standing by for sky crane. Constant velocity accordion nominal. Altitude air 5.9 meters. We found a nice flat place. We're coming in ready for sky crane. Down to 10 meters per second. 40 meters altitude. Sky crane has started. Descending at about 0.75 meters per second as expected. Expecting bridal cut shortly. Tingle to us, you remain strong. Tango Delta nominal. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Ideal calm, configure. Rhythm is stable. Rhythm is stable. UHF is good. Yes. Touchdown confirmed. We're safe on Mars. <laughs> Time to see where our curiosity will take us. Kicked off, waiting for images. Heads up, folks! PL Ops, the signal to Odyssey remains strong. Flight EDL all images are starting to come down. We're beginning to get images. Right, we got images from coming down, folks. If you're calm, configure standby for images. We have thumbnails images. coming down. Odyssey data is still strong. Odyssey data is very strong. Odyssey is nice and high in the sky. <laughs> At this time, we're standing by for images. The thumbnails are complete. We got thumbnails. Poll image complete. We'll do a proper hug on the other side. 
Keep watching, guys. Keep watching the screen. There's more stuff. Any minute now. No. 2.56. Okay. We're, okay. So here we are. We're going to start. Go ahead. Okay. So we have landed. We landed out at the time we thought we would. And we now have our first image. We have our first image. Um, this we've got is a 64 by 64 thumbnail. The front, a rear has cam image. You can see the shadow there. Um, I'm, I'm not sure exactly which our orientation is of the vehicle, but uh, we're looking through it. In a few, I think in a, just a few minutes we might get even a, a, two, a, a larger 250 to 256 uh, frame uh, uh, pixel image um, of that same same end. So we're looking at the shadow. See the horizon is actually the distance. You can't really tell that. So we're looking actually at the shadow of the late afternoon sun, uh, and. Uh, uh, so these are the rear has cams. These are the rear has cams. And, and it so does have a dust cover on it. It does form. have a dust cover, but it's the dust. The cover is a problem. It's the fact there's dust in the air because we have just blown dust all over the place with our descent engines. Fantastic. So there could be more. There could be more. If we get, if we wait, we might get, oh yes, ah. this is the high res, this is the 256 by 256 image, this is the higher resolution, you see dust particles on the window, uh, you can see the horizon there in the background, and there is, there is the wheel of the rover safely on the surface of Mars, I can't believe it, this is unbelievable. We, should, we might get another one of these, and if we're lucky, before Odyssey goes away, we'll get two more of these same injuries going the other side of the vehicle, and also probably dusty. This is amazing. So that is one of Curiosity's rover wheels, wheels exactly. on the surface of Mars. Yes. Oh wow! We, now we have another. It's another image coming down. This is a view looking the other direction. There's still it's still being processed. You'll see it in just a second here. This is another. This is a another thumbnail image. Is that a shadow? That's the shadow of the of rover. Curiosity rover on the surface of Mars. The Odyssey transition is about to end. Uh, it's about to set below the peak of Mount Sharp very shortly. Uh, so this is about all the data we're going to get, but things look great. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you.